the word humanities is actually quite complicated <laughs> and it doesn't always translate that well. Um, and actually the same applies to the word science. It, it's used very differently depending on what culture or cu country you come from. So what is considered a humanities subject can vary really dramatically depending on who you're talking to. And in some areas, this has caused some friction. And in others, it's caused a rather strange knowledge hierarchy with certain subjects being thought of as better than others. And for some, it actually causes damage to how people are able to, to know of the world. So I'd like to argue here that these are quite unnecessary, uncomfortable labels um, that do more than just categorize. In fact, they accentuate some divisions um, within what for, for people's lived reality is really a blended knowledge landscape. So let's remember the physicist poets, the artist engineers, the clergy scientists, the indigenous ecologists, the people who work with the stories from the ancestors, the biologists who got inspiration from their dreams. Remember DNA and James Watson with his dream. So, you know, those rigid boundaries sort of slightly misrepresent the lived realities that we all you know, go through. 